Hey guys, so I am currently at the airport about to check in. I am on my way to Shanghai <laughs> all by myself and going all alone because my colleague was supposed to go with me but then he changed his mind so this is the first time I'm traveling on my own but it's like the first time oh my goodness it's like the first time ever that I'm traveling on my own you know to some place really fun besides the time that I had to come here to, to work so I hope it will be really fun okay let me check in Shanghai here I come <laughs> down in Shanghai for sleeping almost two hours for the whole duration of the flight actually <laughs> so now I am gonna figure out how to oh, exit how to find the nearest exit and I'll take the subway to my destination and then I'll start with my stuff that I'm planning to do here at around 3 so right now it's just after 1 o'clock been walking around for the past hour <laughs> trying to find my way to that side so I have to go over, like I have to go over the not over the bridge there's no bridge here I have to get to the other side via this river it's not a river it's like a lake I don't know what it is so I just asked the security guard how to do that how to get over to the other side and he's just <laughs> he doesn't understand English, he can't speak English. So I'm just like uh uh shh. <laughs> and then he showed me that he actually tried to explain to me that I need to get on a boat and get to the other side. So I'll try and make another video um when I'm on the boat. So yeah, that's a sub. So I'm usually the kind of person who gets really cold and right now my hands are freezing but since I'm in Shanghai <laughs> I'm not freezing at all I am just enjoying this beautiful view the buildings are so nice I am so excited I feel like this is the best decision I've made all year coming here damn <laughs> This place is beautiful. 
so I just keep on taking pictures and stopping and just taking it all in but I'm really happy I'm glad that I came here I just need to find my way to the boats and get to the other side because that's where I want to be the second tallest building in the world so I got myself tickets on sea trip to get to the top of the tower so now oh, I almost dropped my camera school by his dandy phone but still if you guys can see my charger damn it is ratchet okay maybe okay. I think I'm almost there let me get on this boat let me get in this bitch yeah, I can put some said. People are vlogging with cameras and mics. I mean, I'm out here. This is not good. Look at that guy. So this guy behind me has like a camera and mic. Which is so cool. But yeah, what else? What's that? Yeah. Hey. Picture. Oh no no no! Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Chinese yeah. Spring. Yeah. So you were talking about the tea? Yeah, uh, tea. Where? Here. Yeah. Oh, oh no, thank you. Next time. Thank you. I'm on day two of my trip in Shanghai. Um, and there was an old guy just now who offered me tea. So there's this scam in China where people just offer you a tea. Sit here. They just offer you tea and lead you to a tea house so the guy kept on saying tea house tea house and i decided to take a video of him so basically they offer you tea and they direct you to this small tea shop or whatever and there they make you drink loads of tea i think i'm not so sure about the facts but they make you drink some tea and by the time you finish they they take they rip you off basically they make the bill to amount to anything more than like 400 rmb which is about 700 800 780 rands to 800 rands so i've heard about this scam before and this guy thought i was stupid when he offered me tea at the tea house 
So I wanted to follow him just to see where he was going to take me. But I guess he caught on that I'm one of those foreigners who are aware of the scam. So I'll just do a bit of research about this tea scam and let you guys know so that you know about it. Yes, Chinese people are really kind. Most of them are really kind and so nice to foreigners. But the moment you hear tea or tea house, run. Or just go like suck, suck, suck. <laughs> They'll never bother you again. Especially if they see you could see. You are aware of what's going on. So, yeah, my day started off on a very interesting note. And now I'm gonna be run over by a bike. I'm looking for the tour bus office, uh, uh, ticket office because I want to take the sightseeing tour bus and I couldn't find the place. Oh, I didn't even see this. Damn. I don't even see the information center. Brutal. And I'm walking around in hills. Very smart, eh? Very smart. Later on, I have to go uh, to the boat. But they said I should. I got my tickets. While I was getting getting lost, I saw the ticket office for the boat cruise. And I'm gonna have to be there at like 7 p.m. because I wanted to end my Christmas day. On a high note, I hope they serve champagne, champagne, darling, on that um, on that boat, and it has to be free. A beeper, but money I don't. Oh, that's the bus I'm looking for. So it means I'm close. That's where you know you're gonna wait. If you see these chairs, you know you're gonna wait. Waiting for 6 30, I mean for 7 pm, so that I can go onto the boat, which is the last thing that I was planning to do in Shanghai. And I have to say, my trip went pretty well, considering the fact that I've never traveled on my own before. I just had to plan everything on my own. So yeah yeah all well done to me <laughs> i would definitely do it again you know i'm one of those people ne, who hardly go out on their own like I, I find it very uncomfortable to go and to eat out on my own and i thought that traveling would also be a hassle but shame Damn, it has been good. It has been very really good. Basically, you can look at your life, guys. 